It was a blood-soaked afternoon in the Syrian capital, Damascus. Two attacks within hours of each other. The first was a suicide bomber who struck the city's main judicial building, the Palace of Justice. Another suicide bomber hit later. This time, the target was a restaurant in the Rabwe district. Syria's government is promising a tough response. As the bombs were going off in Damascus, a Syrian government delegation was here at this venue in Astana, Kazakhstan, for Russian-backed talks also involving the Turkish and the Iranians. But as the negotiations drew to a conclusion on Wednesday evening, there was still no sign of any rebel factions. Despite talk of boycotts, there is a chance opposition representatives will arrive early on Thursday morning. If so, the possibility for limited discussions remains. In that regard, we leave here in Astana part of our delegation, part of the Turkish and part of the Iranian delegations for having detailed consultations that are of interest to the Syrian armed opposition. Kazakhstan's foreign ministry says there'll be another round of meetings here in May, a sign that progress has been slow. So there were no real breakthroughs uh, what is important in this, the ceasefire is still holding in the Geneva. Meetings are talking peace without our uh, hostilities of uh, derailment of the talks. And for a sense of why the rebels have been reluctant to come here, well, that can be found among the residents in opposition-controlled Idlib. Astana is all lies. They're lying to the people. They gave the regime a chance to keep bombing and attacking more and more. The opposition is divided and under pressure, and Syria's government and its foreign backers know this. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Astana, Kazakhstan.